In the 2040s, the NET's worldwide policing organization, NETWATCH, would begin the development of a unique project called the Black Wall. It wasn't just their net runners in on this project. They were secretly getting help from residents of the net, such as soul killer ghosts and transcendent sentience, artificial intelligences that are thought to emerge out of net processors. AI of the infamous Night City legend, Raish Bartmas, argued were AI that did not operate the net, but were the net. It was actually Bartmas's data crash that destroyed the original net and released copious amounts of rogue AI. The reasoning behind the Black Hole's production was to keep these rogue AI from breaking through into the rest of cyberspace that Netwatch had portioned out for human use. For good reason too. Many of these rogue AI are extremely lethal and destructive, showing a cold and ominous computing process that would often view Netrunners as simply another subroutine that might require deletion. The reason behind the transcendent sentience being especially powerful is that there are agglomerations of computer data constantly updated by self-writing code, meaning they're consistently evolving. So just what am I getting at with this explanation? Well in Phantom Liberty, you can actually get your hands on a powerful cyber deck, quick hack, and SMG that all utilize the Black Walls and Rogue AI's power. So today, I will be showing you just what they're about and where and how to get your hands on them. While not extremely difficult to miss if you're on the right track, it's still possible. This will contain spoilers to the Phantom Liberty storyline, so if you like to remain spoiler free but still look at the equipment, I will have everything timestamped for you. So now with fair warning, let's get into how you will get your hands on these weapons. Firestarter is essentially the second to last mission of Phantom Liberty and also where your most important decision will be made. When you're finally with Somi, you will be given two choices. Help Reed capture Somi or escape with her. In order to get this equipment, you absolutely have to side with Reed in the NUSA. After a series of events, you will track Somi down to the Sinisher facility where she is hiding. A creepy ass rogue AI named Cerberus will stalk you throughout the facility so it will be difficult to navigate your way around. Eventually, you'll reach a lower area where you need to hack the Alpha, Bravo, Sierra, and Victor terminals, and find yourself in a mess hole. While the maintenance room containing the blueprint to the Erebus iconic SMG is locked, you'll find a storage room nearby. In here, you'll need to activate the power grid, which will take a high technical ability, and remain in the room until the rogue AI has left the area. Then, you're free to enter the maintenance room and pick up the Erebus blueprint. In the next area, you'll find the experimental prototyping room. Here you will just need to hack the door with 15 intelligence. I do believe I have a code to enter this room though. I haven't been able to reload and test it due to my save being deleted, but 714212 should either get you into that room or the previous one, so you don't need the skill requirements. Continue with the mission till you shut down the core and learn about Songbird's past. The Cerberus robot will then be disabled and you can loot a behavioral system component from it, which is required to craft the black wall equipment. After this, you can finish the story of Phantom Liberty and return to your apartment. Shortly after receiving a text from an unknown number that will start the corrosion quest. You just head to Yoko and Kabuki, where she will decrypt it into the Cerberus decoded behavioral system. There's a catch though. You only get one of these to use for the crafting of a Militech Kanto MK6 Cyberdeck or Erebus SMG, so choose wisely unless you plan on modding or duplicating this component. So I'll try to help you decide. The Erebus is a power submachine gun that shoots multiple bullets at once, providing high spurts of damage, especially when you're up close which you will want to be 
for its headshot, multiplier, and armor penetration. What makes this weapon unique is that each round fired is infused with dark energy from beyond the black wall, giving the extremely disturbing visual and auditory effects of the black wall upon reaching its target. While these effects are only perceivable to V, is a cool effect nonetheless to represent our link to the black wall. The projectiles will also upload hacks to disable weapons and increase in effectiveness the lower your target's health is. It's overall a fun weapon to use in practically any build and providing somewhat of a haunted feel to every elimination. The rogue AIs will also speak to you through both the cyberdeck and SMG, attempting to corrupt you as their very own host. It's like having a second relic, it's much more disturbing. The Blackwall Cyberdeck and Quick Hack are under the name Militech Canto MK6. The Quick Hack, named Blackwall Gateway, is completely exclusive to this device, so if you want to make use of it, you need this operating system. Meaning that it's also only going to work effectively on a net running build where you don't want to be using a Sandivistin or Berserk Cyberware. The Cyberdeck will make you feel like a free roaming and physically manifested rogue AI complete with all the same visuals and auditory effects expected of the black wall programming. This quick hack will also spread to 5 enemies as long as they're with within 30 meters, causing lethal damage to cyberware and neural systems, mechs, robots, drones, and turrets. Did I mention that also insta-kills? While it might automatically consume RAM every time it spreads, each spread has a shorter upload time and a higher RAM cost than the last, no matter what choice you make. Both of these items will provide a unique atmosphere that only the black wall can instill. If you're on PC and plan to mod these weapons in using Cyber Engine tweaks, I will have both the mod and commands in the description of this video. And that's everything I have for you today, Chooms. I believe the specific ending connected to this equipment makes it completely worth the choice. Well, okay, maybe not story-wise, but you get rewarded for your poor decision making. Let me know all your thoughts down below and if you'll be making builds based around this new black wall weaponry. I'm definitely going to post at least one build that will include the cyber deck. I can definitely appreciate these additions as you can still get them in act 2, which provides you some time to have fun with them ahead of nocturne. As always, thanks to every channel member up on screen. I appreciate every single one of you and hope you're enjoying your time in Dogtown. As always, have a great week. And I'll see you later, Chooms.